Hey guys, I'm going to do my August favorites and it's been about four months since I did a last favorites video but I have quite a few items that I've been really loving over the summer so I thought I would do one this time. So I have some makeup items and then some non-makeup items but we'll get to all of that. So my first item is my large powder brush. It is my Sigma F30. And I've been using this for my loose powder just to kind of set my makeup after I put my foundation on. And I used to use this one from, I think it's also kind of a loose powder brush from e.l.f. Eyes Lip Face. And it was fine, I didn't have any problems with it, but then when I switched to this one, I completely noticed the difference and I was like, why have I been using this one for months and months? I should have started with this one. Obviously, I didn't have this one, but definitely I like this one a lot better. Um, just the size, I mean, this one is a bit bigger, but it's just so much more fluffy and the product just goes on your face better. With this one, it almost kind of gets down underneath and I don't know, it just really isn't that good. And I mean, well, it broke, but that's beside the point. Just the brush version isn't that good. And this still kind of loses hairs. I mean, it's not that bad a brush, but just when you actually compare them, um, it's so much better, but you know, it's also so much more expensive as well, whereas this is a dollar. But just something to keep in mind, and I'm definitely using this, and I would never go back to the e.l.f. one. I don't mind e.l.f. brushes kind of for my eyeshadow, but definitely with my loose powder brush, this is the one to go with. And then my next item is the Benefit Coralista blush. And that is the color that it is. And I know you guys have all seen this before, but I've been really liking it. It comes with a brush. I don't use the brush. Basically, when I open it, I open it upside down and then just put it back. It's not like keeping the brush. I like keeping it as a whole set, but I don't use the brush. And I have that blush on now a little bit. So my next item is also from Sephora. It is the Makeup Forever Lipstick. And this one is Rouge Artist Intense in 29. And this is the color that it looks like and actually a dog bit my hand so it's kind of weird to swatch on there but so it's that color and before my go-to lipstick was also makeup forever in the transparent line 419 and then I switched over because this is pretty much almost done and I mean I definitely like these colors <laughs> it's basically the same color except this is just the long wearing not transparent one and I had always used this pretty much and I was like well it doesn't stay very long it doesn't stay all day but I mean it's fine um, I don't really need to have beautiful lipstick when I'm not working at the vet and stuff so you know I never really thought twice but now that I have this and can compare since the colors are so similar like this stays on for a long time <laughs> um, it definitely stays on for hours and hours not so much after I eat but definitely I mean it's a really great one and it stays on quite some time. And then my next item is an eyeliner. It is the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. And it's like this. It kind of comes out and kind of, let's see, it just makes a really nice thing. It's Kind of like a pencil liner, but so much softer, but then it's more easier to control than liquid liner, but I think it's just as intense. So that's why I really like it. And it does come with a little smudger on this end, so if you wanted to like, kind of smudge it out, you could. I never use a smudger. Um, and surprisingly, although it does have the smudger, so you can smudge it, since it is the waterproof one, it basically, it doesn't come off. I've gone swimming in it and it's still lining my eyes perfectly and I love that. Um, now I also got the brown one, I think it's like a medium brown color because I was really loving that black one. And the medium brown is okay, um, it's not my favorite, but definitely the black one I love because it's such an intense color but it goes on so easily and it just slides on and it stays on all night. So definitely I recommend that one. And then also talking about eyes, my next is uh, another Rimmel and it is in the Glam Eyes line and it's called Royal Linen. And it's kind of hard to see but it's not white, although it looks kind of white. It is like a really light tan or like a peach 
And before, when I used it kind of underneath, or when I used a different one underneath my brow, when I did like French Vanilla from CoverGirl, I think. And I liked it, but then, again, after switching to this one, which is a more neutral, not just white, I like it so much better. It looks more natural, and if I am doing a look kind of where I want that bigger contrast, then I'll go with having like a white accent under my brow bone. But just for daily use, then I definitely like this one. And it is nice and pigmented as well. And then now we are moving into nails. So I have two nail items. My first one is this Revlon Shape and Buffer. It is a nail file. This on this side it is kind of um, more rigid <laughs> and then this one it's more fine, uh, more rough. There we go. And then it has the three steps and you see these all the time. Um, sometimes they're in like big blocks but I really like this one. I had one from Avon before and it just never really worked too well. And then my boyfriend, he got one for his mom and then he used it first. And I was like, wow, it works a whole lot better than that old one. So I went out and bought myself one too. And so you have the four steps. First is even out and then smooth. And then you have buff and shine. Now usually I don't do shine because I put polish on my nails. Um, so after the buff and then I put my base coat on it nicely grabs it to the nail. Um, but what I like about this is because I did bite my nails for so long and even now, there's one short one, <laughs> um, I do do it on occasion and then when they do grow back they're just they're really weak and then sometimes they're like peeling back and they're just really uneven as well. So basically I like this because I can kind of help buff it out and smooth it over and it gets out some of those bumps. So I really like this. And then my last kind of beauty item is nail polish. It is Essie's Buy Me A Cameo. And I have it on my nails right now. My nails are a bit chipped. So I also did a swatch on my color wheel. And so that's what it is. And I really like it because it's just, it's really neutral, but it gives you like some shine without really taking too much of a color. It's not a pink, it's not a gray, it's just kind of a pinkish tan. <laughs> so it is a color, but I don't know, it basically goes with whatever you're wearing. So I've been wearing this one a lot, and then also I like it because um, when it does start to chip, sometimes, you know, I have a busy day, I can't always take off and change my polish um, and if you have a bright color then it's really noticeable when it starts to chip. So with this I mean it is starting to chip you can kind of see on the pinky um, but from a distance it's not that noticeable whereas if I had like a bright red or a really dark color you would really see that it's chipping. I have two more items. My next one is a candle and it is from Sisters Making Sense. That is the brand and it's a massage candle basically it's a soy candle and what I love about this is that it is in the flavor what they call skin candy and skin candy is exactly the same as pink sugar and pink sugar is my that's my perfume scent. I don't really use any other perfume. I sometimes have body mist, but if I am using perfume, I only wear this one. So to find a candle that makes kind of your whole room smell like that, it is so great. And I did get this sent to me, and I'm going to do a review on it and some other items later, so I won't go too much in depth about this, but it is a soy candle, and it's a massage candle, so you can actually take the wax out and like rub it on your hands. The main thing I love about this is the scent. Yeah, it smells, it's identical. Like, this is, this is amazing. And then my last thing is my pillowcase. <laughs> For my birthday last month, my mom got me two 100% mulberry silk pillowcases. And I only have one on right now. And it's just, yeah, silk and so smooth. And I mean, there's a lot of talk about silk or satin pillowcases. Um, for me, the main difference that I have noticed is that it makes my hair a lot less tangled because I, you know, toss and turn overnight and it just doesn't make it as frizzy or tangled. And then sometimes I wash my hair at night and before I, when I go to bed with my hair kind of damp and wet, when I woke up, my hair was just a complete poof. But actually when sleeping on this, if my hair is damp, it actually goes into its nicer curls and waves without making it too frizzy. Um, when I did kind of my hair routine video and I said this is what my hair looks like naturally, a lot of the help is from this pillow. If I would have done that video, you know, a month and a half ago before I had this pillow and showed it with 
my hair normally, then it definitely would have been a lot more frizzy. So I really like this pillow. Um, and I got it in a gray and a blue, a baby blue. Um, the only thing with silk is you have to hand wash it or then it will like start pilling all over. So that's, you know, that's the annoying thing. But luckily I have two, so when one is like being hand washed and hung to dry, then I can put the other one on. But I definitely recommend getting these. Like it's great for your hair. And I know there's a lot of people say it's better for your face. It doesn't cause wrinkles or it doesn't cause acne. I mean, I haven't really noticed those, but I've definitely noticed a difference with my hair. All right, so those are my August favorites and basically my summer favorites. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing all of your guys's. Thanks for watching. Bye.